Hey guys, this is here. So I wanted to make a guide for those of you wanting some tips on how to kill the Shaper, how the fight works, and what he actually does. So to actually attempt this fight, you don't need to interact with the Atlas in any way. You can actually just buy one of each Guardian Fragment and go fight the Shaper. Once you have the four Fragments, you get six portals. And first off, you have to kill four of the sub-bosses that are picked from a random pool, such as Merveil, Malachi, IIT, quite a lot of them. Malachi, Doresso, and Redwool can be some of the harder ones. Once you get to the first stage, you will not have filled up any Wild Souls, so you can't rely on like Wild Clarity and things like that. And the Shaper himself has several attacks. He's got an auto attack, which is for very high physical damage, it's quite easy to avoid. Vortex Balls that will chase you down and explode on you, they will then leave a Void Pool behind that does damage over time. They don't go away until you finish the stage. He does a machine gun ball attack which does incredibly high damage and he'll usually repeat this move a few times. He then also has a beam attack which is pretty easy to avoid once you get the hang of these. The slam and the auto attack will be physical damage but the uh, other attacks in the fight is mostly fire and cold damage. You can uh, up your resists to mitigate that. The slam is sort of different than other slams. He sort of uh, homes in on your position better than a lot of other slams like Malachi would do. It can be slightly trickier to avoid until you notice how to uh, dash away from it. Besides these attacks, he also has different stages, such as summoning a portal with monsters that you have to keep away from Zana. There's another stage where Zana will re-summon a force field that protects you from a massive attack, where he teleports around releasing projectiles. If Zana is dead, you have the option of either TPing out, logging out, or you're most likely going to die. It's not really dodgeable unless you're some sort of a fucking Jedi. The projectiles have been desynced a bit for some people as well, which like, you can rip pretty easy to that. Another issue is that the vortex balls can spawn while you're inside the Zana safe stage. I mostly counter that myself by spamming phase run, which makes them untarget you. Sometimes if they're growing close to you and it doesn't untarget you, you can uh, try to place it at the edge of the bubble, or you can log out or TP out and come back in and wait for things to de aggro. Once stage 1 is over, he resets the arena and teleports you to a gauntlet of mobs. The faster you run through this, the less HP he has in the next zone. And at the end, there's a boss that shoots the uh, DJ and Void Balls at you and he does a slam. The slam can hit quite hard if you're standing in the middle. You have to pass through this gauntlet again after the second phase and then the boss will be slightly harder. Stage 2 is basically the same as stage 1, but in stage 3, there's a clone of the Shaper, his friend. He will do the machine gun ball attacks beam and auto attack. He does not do the slam. He's only there periodically and it's pretty easy to uh, just focus on dodging while he's there. With balls coming at you from everywhere it can be a lot to handle both the shaper and his friend at the same time. But uh, with the totem build I'm basically spamming face run the entire time which gives you extra damage on the totems and you start avoiding attacks. I recommend managing the vortex balls in the corners and trying to stack them on top of each other. It's very much a DPS fight because the longer the fight drags on, you're gonna miss time some of the uh, vortex stacking. So I recommend having very high damage. You can dodge most of the fight even with a relatively low HP pool. I definitely recommend uh, purity of ice. The reason I choose purity of ice and not fire because my totems are immune to fire. So uh, Purity of Ice actually helps my totem survive quite a lot. Hopefully this helps some of you. Uh, if you have any questions as well, you can drop by my stream at twitch.tv slash pcchild. You can send me a message or anything I'm in the so comments sorry. down below. Um, so have a nice day and hopefully you guys will die less than I do.